Now, there's a heck of a lot of people out there in the world that don't believe that aliens exist, okay? And I'm not saying that they do exist, but... And also, there's a heck of a lot of people that don't believe, me included, that Bigfoot exists. But... And also, you see these glitches around the world that a lot of people can explain, okay? But these three videos, I really, I have to sort of scratch my head at. No, th th okay. The three videos I'm going to show you are more than likely fake, all right? They are more than likely maximum fake, not believable, a li a a an easy explanation, but... <laughs> So it's actually going to be two videos and one photo. We're going to start off with a photo because this is the one that I actually mentioned about in one of my other videos about the paranormal. And I mentioned about the aliens, okay, like ha having selfies. And I thought it's so fake. However, what if it's not? <laughs> okay, because sometimes when I look at like the paranormal videos, it's one of those situations where if it's too clear and too blatant in your face, you just go, ah, that's fake, clearly. Like, look at it. But if it's, like, grainy and just, like, recorded with a bad, like, camera, you think to yourself, oh, it could be real, you know? So this photo is so HD, mate. It's like 16K. It's so HD clear. You think to yourself, well, if this was real... Like, the whole world would know about it. So clearly it's got to be fake. Or is it? <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you. Big shout out to Karen Allen as well on X or Twitter. I don't think we're ever going to stop saying Twitter, okay? Big shout out to Karen Allen um, who sent me this photo because she knew exactly what I was talking about, mate. Right. This is the photo. I know what you're thinking, Ben. <laughs> It's fake. <laughs> what if it's not? I'm just saying, what if it's not? All right, because especially this one down here, man. Like, you look too damn real. These look too, too real. This is what I'm saying about how annoyed I am with Photoshop and especially AI. This is more than likely more than likely an AI picture, all right? It's got to be. I mean, it's got to be. It has to be. He looks very similar, actually, if you look. He looks very similar, even to his cheekbones. Like, what the hell is this all about? But why does it look so stupidly realistic, man? Why does it look stupidly realistic? It's so... They look so happy. The aliens look so happy. Why are you so happy? Huh? AI's good. But is it that good? Look at the light source. Like, why am I even looking into this too much, man? It's clearly fake. It's clearly AI. I've not done any research on it. And I probably should before making a video. Because a lot of you now are probably shouting at me. In the comments saying, Ben, this is known, fake, whatever, right? I know it's been out a while. I'm just saying, mate, right? If I haven't looked into it, some of you lot at home haven't looked into it either. All, that's all I'm saying, okay? It looks stupidly good. It looks stupidly real to the point of where it has to be fake. It has to be. <laughs> it's, it's fake. It's so... It's Oh, hang on a second. Look at this. Is this... This, is this the AI glitch? I think I see. I think I see the AI glitch. Right. Or is it just the shadow? Look, he's got, what's this around his, his wrist? Is that like, what? do they own these aliens? Have they just put this thing around his, his wrist like a, what you do with a pigeon? Right, okay. I've, I've spoken too much about that one. I just wanted to show you the video, the, the, the sorry, the, 
the picture that I was talking about on the other video. All right. Anyway, okay. So the next one we're going to be talking about, which always goes crazy in the comments because people get so annoyed with me that I don't believe in Bigfoot. Okay? I don't believe in Bigfoot. Okay, so this is from the channel Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. Make sure you go over that channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Okay? So clearly this is a, um, a channel dedicated to the Sasquatch. Okay? Bigfoot. Now, my opinion is there are so many professional hunters out there. I'm talking professional hunters, right? People that dedicate their lives to hunting, especially in the United States of America, baby, right? It just, they're grown up around guns. They're grown up around their hunting. They're, their dad's been taking them out for hunting for God knows how many long, right? They, they, they get shit on the floor. They test it. They taste it. They smell it, okay? All right? They consume it. And then, then they get a damp spot. <laughs> the, the, the lick, the piss, and everything, mate. They know exactly. Well, there's a scratch on the branch, which means it's going over there. It's probably about 100 fucking foot over there. Whatever, mate, right? These people live, breathe, and eat hunting. Now, and also, people like to have their, um, what's it, like their trophies, okay? Right, you put the deer's head on the on the on the on the on the walls, and the bear's head, and the the tiger's head, and all that sort of stuff, right? Now, I personally don't agree. I I I've I've killed one animal by accident. All right, I my mate had a rifle. Yes, UK do have guns. We can have licenses and stuff like that for rifles and things like that. Okay, right? We just don't. Just, we can't just go to. Argos and buy a bloody gun, right? So anyway, my mate had a rifle and I saw a sparrow, a little tiny sparrow bird up in the tree. And I aimed it, right? I went, put a pellet in there, right? Like a little air rifle. I got it in my crosshairs. And I was like, I'm going to miss. I shot it. And this bird was on the branch. And it bang! And it didn't move. I thought, oh, I did miss it. And then it just went, eh, hung upside down, its claws were on the branch, swung a little bit, and then just dropped. And it was the worst feeling I'd ever felt. It was absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. I hated, I hated the thought that I have just took something's life like that. I just absolutely hated it. And I vowed from then on, I'd never... The only thing I would shoot was targets, okay? I don't, I, I don't like, I like... I understand that there has to be some sort of control sometimes, okay? I know you have to control certain animals because it can take, take out other animals and it can take out shrubs and it can, it can do like... Right? I understand. Where the fuck am I going with this? So what I'm saying is, with all the professional hunters out there, there has to have been somebody that has spotted a Sasquatch, a Bigfoot, by hunting it down. And if they did, one person, one person must have shot it. And if they did shoot it, I mean, these guns are big. I know these Sasquatches look pretty damn big, right? But these guns can take down buffaloes, okay? So, I'm talking that they, they, they must have seen one and shot one and taken it to the floor, took a bloody photo, at least like, and, and, and just, and just showed the world or dragged it home. Okay. And there has to have been, there has to have been, that's what I'm saying. There has to have been somebody, right? And let's just say, no, no, nobody's ever shot one. There has to, like, how many of these Sasquatches are there? Is there just the one? Is it just the one family, maybe? So my thought is there has to have been somebody that has shot one down or got proper close-up footage of um, uh, a Bigfoot and just release it. But there hasn't been. There's always been sort of like, oh, a little shadow just got, gone here and gone there and stuff. And some people say that these things can sort of like disappear and all that. Anyway, let's have a little look at probably, which in my opinion, is probably the most legit footage of a Bigfoot I've ever seen, at least. I've ever seen. Let's take a look. 
it's Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. A guy named Brandon sent us the following video while we were on a Bigfoot expedition. Here is the latest purported Bigfoot captured on video near Silverton, Colorado. Colorado! This appears to be captured from the train that runs between Durango and Silverton. We look, will zoom in. Look at it, look at it, look at it though, mate. Look at it. It's like, I mean, it, let me tell you, it looks after itself. All right, this thing must be cleaning itself all the time because that's got maximum conditioner on this hair. Look at the hair glossing in the wind, right? Look at it glossing. Look how glossy it is. Look, 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 on the arm, look how glossy and shiny that thing is. 50%. And then we will play the original again with the original audio. I do think it is an amazing, though, how look at the color. The color is literally exactly the same. All of these could be sitting down Sasquatches like Bigfoot. It's like, look at it. Look at it. You couldn't even see it, mate. It's like, where's Wally? Where's Waldo? And then run back all through this one more time with you. Yeah, like I said, we were camping. Oh, man, it's weird. Less than 100 miles northwest of here. Look, that's even a better shot. Look at it. Look, it's, it's looking. It's looking. Look how... Okay, let's have a little look here. So we've got... A Big feet. Hmm. I'm just looking at this 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 ass. I'm looking at this ass. Like what's okay? So that's. I'm just seeing. Like that's the curve of his ass cheek. Clearly, right? To hear when it was filmed doing a Bigfoot sighting investigation on Thunder Mountain, Colorado is well known for Bigfoot sightings and is currently the number one reported Sasquatch hotspot in all of the Rocky Mountains. Mm. An elusive creature. It's almost like it knows that the train's there and then decides to try and hide. But the trains don't actually move that, that, that fast. So he must have been here and the train must have been almost in front of them because they're crossing paths like that. So why didn't he sit and hide when the train was in front of him? It's almost to the back of him now, right? You'd imagine he would have probably been walking from here and the train would have been over that over the left-hand side somewhere. I just squatted down. But that's a pretty... That's a pretty good fake, isn't it? You'd have to literally say, right, the train's going to be passing at 10 past 3. At 10 past 3, make sure you're at that spot at 10 past 3. And I'll record. And then when, like, and then just occasionally just sit down. Like, you would have to, like, that's a long thing to do, isn't it? It's a sort of, it's a long ass way of faking a video. Legit. A legit looking, but An elusive creature. it seems quite agile then, right? At the very beginning, it seemed quite agile, you know? It was like hopping about. Yeah, it was hopping about. Look. But here we go, watch. Straight. Da -da -da -da. An elusive creature. I just squatted down. So it squats down quite sort of like human like, I would say. But then what makes me think, hmm. What's it doing now? Is this like head front movement thing? Look, it starts bowing down, almost like rocking. Like there, there, there. Like that's not normal. That's not normal human behavior. Is it? So that just makes me think, is it? Is it? An elusive creature. Now watch it start nodding now. Yeah, let me see your camera, I'll do it. Nod, nod. Nod, nod, nod. Like, what is that, mate? That's weird. An elusive creature. I just squatted down. Yeah, let me see your camera. I'll do it. Nod, 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 nod. It's mate. I don't. I. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's bloody weird. It's really weird. I'm just saying that. That video is the first video that's actually ever really made me go, hmm, I could be wrong. Hmm. Don't know. What do you think? 
So the third and final video, mate, right? I've seen this before in the past where I've been in a car and a plane's lifted off, right? And it looks like it's still. But for a short amount of time, because you're sort of, you're, you're going in the same direction as the plane in the same sort of speed because of the distance, not the speed, because planes obviously go faster than cars. But you, but because you're doing that, right? It, it's like the the plane looks like it's stopped in midair and it looks really weird. I've seen it before. All right, um, and then like after after about fifteen seconds, and you start changing direction slightly, you start seeing the plane actually start moving. So it sort of it flies up like that, and then it stops as you you, you move in. And then as you get to a certain point, it starts flying again. It's really weird. However, this video here, mate, is on another level of glitch, mate. This is a glitch in the Matrix, if I've ever seen one. Check this out. Look at that. Is, it, is this fake? That's just not moving at all. And what makes me think... Like, it's really, re re really real is because as it sort of goes away from the window, it bends, right? It bends like Beckham. Check this out. What? So that tells me, I mean, yeah, you could probably make that on the computer, but it seems pretty damn legit to me. Like, what the hell? Now, yeah, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, it could be just like, because the direction, as I explained to you, you know, when you're in a car and stuff. However, I'm looking... I'm looking the direct, like that's directly above this here. Well, if it's not, you can see by the angle that it's roughly around, if you were to like, put a laser light down from there, it's probably around here somewhere, okay? Probably a bit further down because you can't see the shadow, right? So if that's the shadow there, so the shadow of the plane is going to be around about here somewhere. Anyway, besides the point, as it's rotating, it doesn't move away from what the act, like from the direction of where it is. <laughs> like, I'm spinning myself out. Look, look. Like, right, for now, it should be like away over here somewhere. I, I, it's so strange. Look. From, th from there, like, how far? Like, it has to be. Sorry, I'm spitting everywhere. It has to be somewhere other than directly above this bloody bridge, right? Maximum bridge, by the way, I just have to add. Don't know where the hell that is, but look at the size of that. That's what she said. <laughs> but look! Like, wh like, where's the shadow? That still looks like it's pretty much over the bridge. Why is it not over here now? E even though that you would see it, and it would look like it's not moving. It literally is moving. So at some point, the shadow would have to be somewhere else in the sea, right? And I know you can't see the shadow. I'm just saying, like, that's what I'm trying to get at. It would have to be somewhere else other than where you first saw it. Look at it! It, that's, this has got to be fake. This has to be fake. This has got to be fake. Who is on that plane? Can we speak to the people that were on that plane? Please? Why is it not dropping out of the sky right now? This is weird as shit. What are the people saying? Bizarre footage shows someone forgot to edit the shadow of the plane. And <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, but... Like, this bit here, man, just seems a little bit. This is the most perfected post I've seen in years. This page is garbage. Right, it's make, this is starting to make me sound a little bit fucking stupid now. This shit is actually real. I see it every week near Birmingham where things are guan. What? Oh, weird things are guan. What if I told you that you should have paid attention in science class? You think that's air you're breathing? Oh, okay, that's a matrix. Relative motion, for fuck's sake. I know! Yeah, okay, that, well, well done. Relative motion. But it's still not moving away from the bridge! 
I understand when something looks like it's not moving, when you're moving with it. But it's not moving away from the bridge. I mean, how long does it take for a plane? Like, you can get to Australia from England in 24 hours. This thing here, mate, is going to take 24 fucking years. I'm just saying it's fake. I'm just, say just going to say it's fake. Okay? But... <laughs> Anyway, those are the three things that I just, I wanted to get out there, right? I know they're more than likely fake, but I hope that I didn't frustrate you too much. I just thought it was so entertaining and I just wanted to make a video about it. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts and your, you know, your ideas in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.